Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post here at Sparkfun Electronics. I could be saying just about anything right now because all of you are looking at this big stack of dumpster dives. That's right, today we have the dumpster dive. But before we get to that, let's talk about the new products. First up, we've got a new solderable breadboard. This is very similar to the smaller one that we released, uh, I think it was a few weeks back. This one mates with, well, breadboard of this size. The idea behind this and the other one is that you would lay this over top of your breadboard, you would prototype your design, you know, similar to something like this, but you would put the pieces through the actual breadboard so that when you lift this up, you can then just solder everything in place and you don't have to redo everything once you're done prototyping on the breadboard. So it makes it kind of this um, really simple and easy way to permanently solder something to a breadboard or to this PCB and not have to take everything off and then reorganize it again once you're done with it working. It does have all the power rails and you've got all the different connections and you even have some mounting holes in the corners. We have a couple new products from Actobotics this week, specifically four new micro switches as well as three little mounting tabs. We have them in four different varieties. We have the standard with just a little switch on top. We've got the straight lever. We've got the curved lever. And then we also have the roller lever. We also have three different mounting plates. We have this one, which mounts flat to a channel. We've got this one, which mounts to the side of a channel, like this guy right here. And then we also kind of have this little right angle one. What these are good for is for limit switches or things like that in linear motion. So we have this kind of just, you know, basic slider set up. Let's say we take this one right here, mount it to the whole pattern, and then when this slides, it hits the limit switch, and it can let our microcontroller know that I've reached the physical limit of where this carriage can move. So this works really well if you don't have a stepper motor or a servo motor that actually knows how far this has traveled. You can just hook up a standard DC motor and then have some mechanism that when this carriage reaches the end, it hits the switch and it knows it's at the end. This is typically used in a lot of um, CNC applications to where you have a home switch and a limit switch to where this would be your home position and this would be your full limit. And because of all the little different mounting configurations, they're pretty easy to mount onto the Actobox channels. Next up, we've got a new IMU. This is the LSM9DSO. This is an all-in-one nine-doff board. Everything is all on the chip. It's got a magnetometer, accelerometer, gyroscope, all that fun stuff. This is a relatively complicated board to demonstrate or at least show in the new product post, but we do have a very in-depth hookup guide that shows you how to hook up all the pins, how to configure this, this board communicates over SPI or I squared C, so you have that option. And go ahead and check out the hookup guide linked on the product page for all the details about how to configure and use this board. Next up, we have the sound detector. The sound detector is an update to our electric microphone breakout. We took all the feedback that everyone had in the comments and we came up with this. It does have the same microphone on it, but we have a much different circuit behind it. This is a lot more flexible and has a lot more options for use. One of the main features of this board is the output. It has three separate outputs. You have the strict audio output, which is quite simply just the audio spectrum that comes out of the microphone. You also have this envelope output, which is simply an amplitude output. So if you have a wave that's something like this, it will look at the overall amplitude and give you a nice smooth output that's really easy to put into something like a seven segment display for a VU meter, or it can be easily read into a microcontroller because it's a much smoother signal than what you'd normally get directly out of the amplifier signal. Next up, we've got a gate output. This is a simple binary on or off. So it has a threshold on the board and if it reaches that threshold, it will be on, and actually this little light right there will light up, and if there is no sound beyond that threshold, it will be off. So this makes a really easy clap sensor, or we just want to detect a sound that's above this threshold. And of course, we have a gain adjustment right there. By adjusting the value of this resistor, you would just put in your own resistor, 
you can adjust the overall gain. Right now the gain is set to 40 dB, but you can adjust that up or down, and then thusly you can adjust that gate threshold. So if a clap is you know, activating it too quickly or something like that, or too quiet sounds are activating it, you can actually adjust the gain to make it work for you. This sample circuit can be found in the hookup guide and gives you a little bit better explanation of exactly what's going on here. But we're powering it with 12 volts, we've got a regulator to regulate the actual sound board or the sound detector down to 5, and we're using 12 volts on the IC here, just for the reasons that this IC wants a slightly wider range of voltage. As you can see, as I talk into it, we can see the VU meter here go. Um, if I got a little bit closer, it would go higher. And also, you see every so often, we have this light go off. That is the gate output or the binary output. So if there's no sound, it doesn't light up. But as soon as there's a sound, it lights up. So this is a very easy way to just basically detect if there is sound or not. If you're not familiar with Dumpster Dive, it's where we take all the unused product we have around here and put it in these red boxes. We weigh each one up to 1.5 pounds worth of product, and that can be anything from returned merchandise, stuff that we just never end up selling, or even production overflow. So let's see what's inside one of these boxes. Here is one of the Dumpster Dive boxes I randomly selected from the pile downstairs. And I have not seen what's inside, so let's dump it open and just see what's in here. We've got some samples, some regulators from DigiKey. We've got a nice strip of capacitors. We've got a lot of different resistors. We've got some nice surface mount connectors. Um, these are some old, um, I think these are Geochron cases. We've got a couple battery holders here. We've got a breadboard. Oh, wow, this is an oldie. This is an old serial accelerometer, I believe. That is old. USB cable, everyone needs one of those. More connectors, half of a case. A Synapse module. These actually sold for around 70 bucks, I believe. So you're gonna get one of those. And we've got a few of these um, easy point modules. These are little um, touch pointer things with a um, little interface. We used to make a breakout board for these. Got a lot of different screws, hardware some thumb joysticks without the um, little topper on them. And in addition to all this, we've also got a bunch of various surface mount headers and um, other connectors. And we got a few more of these easy points in here. It looks like there's almost a good dozen of those inside here. So this is pretty representative of what is going to be in each dumpster dive box. Of course, each one will vary. Each one will have different things in them. Um, we started with somewhere around 250 pounds worth of stuff that we divvied up into these boxes. Each one weighs at least 1.5 pounds, most are a little bit over. And so this is a good representation of what you're going to get. We do have a lot of production materials in here, i.e. a lot of um, surface mount components and a lot of surface mount connectors. So hopefully that gives you a better idea of what is in each dumpster dive. So that is another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics. Of course, we've got the sound detector, the 9 off board, the large breadboard, and of course, the dumpster dive. See you next week with even more new products.